Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a lesson centered around the mysteries of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which have been given all right, to the elect in these latter days, starting with the servants, the prophets. All right, or what's going to make us foolish to the world. All right, and the world will use those talking points and those mysteries that are over their heads, all right, to, uh, you know, make accusations against us, all right, and to uh, try to make us look crazy, all right, but we'll show you, all right, as we're fools for Hamashiach's sake, all right, the reason centered around that is because of the mysteries that we declare, all right, which are not of this world, the wisdom we're preaching, all right, has nothing to do with the wisdom of this world, therefore, those who are outside of the temple, all right, we'll make fun of it, all right, because it's not in line, all right, with the carnal, all right, understanding that they have. Second Corinthians 4 and 3, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, all right? And as the scriptures say, fear not the incredulity, which means the lack of faith, the lack of belief, all right, which we're going to encounter as we tell these secrets, as we go out. And bring out the mysteries of Yahweh Bashim Shai, how we're going to be delivered, you know, beamed up into a great fathership, you know, the which is uh, synonymous with the second return of Yahweh Shai, you know, the Most High, you know, uh, sending His only begotten Son only to die for the elect of the nation of Israel, which will eventually trickle down to the whole nation. Okay, um, all of these things are foolish. All right, as we're reading here, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost and whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who was the image of the Most High, okay, should shine unto them, okay? So NLT, if the good news we preach is hidden behind a veil, it is only hidden to them who are perishing, all right? And our people, all right, and these Christians who are following us around, Okay, the gospel that we're teaching is hidden unto them. All right, as a matter of fact, let's get the book of 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. All right, because we are, what, proclaiming mysteries that have been hidden from for ages. Okay, and mere mortals aren't going to understand these things. Okay, 1 Corinthians 4 and 9 says this. Okay. Let's see here. We'll start at one. Okay. Let a man so account of us as the ministers of Amashiach, as the stewards of the mysteries, all right, of the Most High. Okay. We are what? Proclaiming the mysteries of the Most High. Okay. And, and to this world, those things are foolish. As a matter of fact, before we finish that, let's go to 1 Corinthians 1 and 18. So as we're bringing out things like reincarnation, the fact that the prophets of old are back, the, prop, the, the, the fact that the prophets of this day have more understanding than the prophets of old, okay, people who are outside of the temple, all right, and who the gospel is not, you know, open to are going to use those talking points to make us look crazy, all right? This is the book of 1 Corinthians, all right, 1 and 18. It says, for we preach for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. OK, because through that blood, we have received what the Holy Spirit of promise, understanding what is to come, understanding the prophecies. OK, because through Yahweh Shai, the seals were unloosed. All right. And the true understanding of this Bible has been sent down via the comforter. So for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. All right. And back then you had a lot of the Jews, all right, who denied Yahweh Shai as the sacrifice to bring us back to the Most High. Okay. It says, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of the Most High. All right. So the preaching of the cross to them that perish, all right, is foolishness, right? To them who are going to be destroyed. Okay. When you look up this word foolishness, all right, 
Moriah or Moria, all right, foolishness, all right? But when you go to the root word, all right, moros, foolish and pious, okay? And the base root word is what? Mysterion, hidden thing, secret, mystery. And as we proclaim these mysteries, all right, that makes us to look foolish, you see? It is the mysteries of the Bible, all right, that we're proclaiming on the rooftop, all right? Going out on the highways and the byways and doing these lessons, bringing out the, the true understanding of the depth of this book. All right. That is what's going to make us look foolish as we are fools for Hamashiach's sake. All right. The, 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 the root word for the word foolish is tied to what? Mysteries, secrets, general mysteries, religious secrets only in, uh, uh, to the initiated. Okay confined confided only to the initiated and not ordinary mortals and the mass majority of our people are just more than their ordinary mortals okay the elect all right or immortals in mortal flesh you see and ultimately the words of yahweh bashim yasha aren't going to be opened unto them okay so they take our particular talking points even when we bring out the understanding of ancient customs and how things were done in ancient Israel, all right, those who are wicked use those talking points, all right, to make us to look foolish. You see? Confided only to the initiated and not ordinary mortals. A hidden or secret thing not obvious to the understanding. Hidden purpose or counsel. All right, and we know according to the scriptures, let's get it again. Let's get uh, the book of uh, Amos 3. All right, Amos, the third chapter, and the seventh verse. All right, surely the Most High God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets, all right, unto the servants, the prophets. Okay, and as we are ordained to go out and preach these things, Okay, as we preach these things, all right, they're going to make us look foolish. Okay, and the, the wisdom of this world is really what's foolish. Okay, so you have particular people who have this Bible in their hand, even those who know that they're Israelites, all right, who use the world's viewpoint of what's true against us. Again, we just read, all right. We just read in 2 Corinthians 4, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Okay, so the God of this world has a grip on the minds, all right, of the Christian church. Okay, and the things that they have been preaching and proclaiming for years are being what? Challenged openly and made, all right, to be lies. All right, and you have Israelites who come into the truth but they still carry the vibration of the God of this world into the truth, all right? And that's why they never go from glory to glory. They just stop at the fact that they're Israelites. They may understand a few scriptures, but when it comes to the mysteries, all right, they're not foolish enough to boldly proclaim those things because, all right, they're not set, all right? As we were reading, all right, uh, uh, for, uh, second, uh, 1 Corinthians 4, let's get that real quick. 1 Corinthians, the fourth chapter, Okay, and one, let a man so account us as the ministers of Hamashiach and the stewards of the mysteries of the Most High. Okay, explaining God's mysteries. Okay, that's what we're set to do. All right, the truth of the matter. All right, jump into verse nine. All right, it says, For I think that the Most High have set us forth, the apostles last. And that just means to be sent. All right, we know that there's order, okay? But it just really, it just means to be sent. He sent his servants to prophets, all right? And that is fulfilled in the apostles. It says, as it were appointed to death, for we were made a spectacle unto the world and unto angels and to men, all right? So we are made what? A spectacle. Let's look up this word spectacle. And a big part of what makes us a spectacle is not only how we come, you know, the garments we wear, Standing on street corners, you know, being heralds to the Most High God, Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, 
but the mysteries that we're bringing out. All right, the fact that ancient prophets are back here today in the flesh. All right, that's the God of this world doesn't teach. All right, that's not a part of the Christian gospel or the gospel of whatever philosophy that our people are into. That's too high for a fool. Wisdom is too high for a fool according to this world. See, we're fools for Hamashiach's sake. Okay? The word spectacle. All right? Theatron, a theater, a place in which games and dramatic spectacles exhibited in public assemblies held for the Greeks used theater as a public forum. Metaphorically, a man who is exhibited to be gazed at and made sport of. All right? And a big part of what they make sport of is what we're saying. See? What we're teaching. We are fools, verse 10, for Hamashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Hamashiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but we are despised. So those of you who are getting the true understanding, all right, uh, you know, while we're out, you know, starting with the apostles and elders, all right, or out on the highways and the byways, we're being made a spectacle of but you are being made what wise in the true understanding of the book you see but that's the sacrifice and again that word fools we are made what we are fools for Hamashiach's sake that word all right foolish but when you go to the root word what mysterion so it's the mysteries of this book that really all right make us foolish all right so what the what the unwise do all right let's get first john four and I'm speeding through because I only have so much time. First John 4 and 5, what they do is they use the viewpoint of the world and the fact that, you know, what we're teaching is not of this world, all right, to make us look crazy to the world. First John 4 and 5, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world and the world heareth them, all right? So they get the oohs and ahs, the laughs, the 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 ability to say these niggas are crazy, the ability to say oh, they're godless, they're crazy, uh, they're preaching some weird, satanic, crazy doctrine, which all of the prophets and apostles had to go through that. Yahweh Shai himself was called the Lord of the Flies, Beelzebub. All right? <laughs> and they said the miracles you do ain't in the name of the Most High God, Yahweh. All right? He had to go through it. We're going to have to go through it. So, yeah, they're going to be able to take particular talking points and say these Negroes are crazy. They're, they're, they're out of their minds. See? But that's how it's supposed to be. And those who have ears to hear and eyes to see are the ones who are going to get it. We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that heareth not the Most High heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. All right? We, we go into ancient customs. We go into the mysteries. We go into how... We're going to be delivered. That's a mystery. All right. First Corinthians, the 15th chapter. That's a mystery. How the, the elect are going to be beamed up. All right. First Corinthians 15 and 51. Okay. That's a mystery. Okay. First Corinthians 15 and 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. All right. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Let's look up this word mystery and see what that says. All right. Boom, mysterion, which is tied to the word foolish. So in the world, these particular things that we are teaching are foolish. But it's scriptural. All right? These Christians talk run around with this rapture nonsense. The, 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 the scriptures ain't speaking about that. The scriptures are speaking about the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah being gathered from the four corners of the earth at his return. Okay? And what the world will call a big, gigantic spaceship. All right, and Yahweh Shai is going to be riding. It's all throughout the scriptures and symbolism. He that rode on a white horse, the white horse, horse represents power. So these are secrets confided only to the initiated. And how are you initiated? From the foundation of the earth. The word is given unto you. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's get this real quick. Let's get the book of uh, first. Salakia. First John 2 and 14. I have written unto you fathers because ye have known him that is from the beginning, Yahweh Shai, 
I have written unto you young men because ye are strong and the word of the most high abideth in you and ye have overcome the devil. All right. From being what? Chosen from the foundation of the earth. We know that we're called, but we don't know that we're chosen. All right. But guess what? The word of the most high abides in his elect. Okay. And those are the mysteries in which this world has no understanding of. All right. Matthew, the uh, 13th chapter. Well, let's get, just get Mark 4. Let's get that version of it just to get straight to the point. Mark 4 and 11. Okay, Mark 4 and 11 says this. And he said unto them, unto you, all right, it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the Most High. But unto them they are without that are without, all these things are done in parables. So these things are done in parables unto them. All right, we read in Revelation 11, all right, their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city. That's in a parable to them. All right. They, when they read that, they're thinking, well, literal dead bodies, spiritual solder in Egypt. They're not tying that to America. They're not reading that and tying into the history of our people and the, the, the great fall that we suffered. Because what? They're without. Let's look up the word without. So, again, don't worry about the incredulity and unbelief of these people without. OK, exo, <laughs> exit, <laughs> exo, out of the doors, out of the temple. Okay, away from, they're away from the truth. Okay, they're without the understanding, all right, that has been given from the foundation of the earth. Okay, let's get the book of Ephesians 1 and 9. Okay, and see, we're boldly proclaiming these things. Okay, this is Ephesians 1 and 9, having made known unto us the mystery of his will according to the good pleasure which he had proposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Hamashiach, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. See? In whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worked the things after the counsel of his own will. See? that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Hamashiach, chosen from the foundation of the earth, in whom ye also trusted after ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of salvation, okay? In which, in whom after ye believe you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. You see that? We're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, all right, via this grace period until the day of redemption, where we're gonna be redeemed out of this hell hole. Let's get 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, in the seventh verse. 1 Corinthians 2 and 7. Okay, let's start at uh, 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And you have particular men who will try to uh, 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 pretty much trim off the truth, all right, to seek love from the world. They'll say things like, the world, well, the world... Uh, 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 the Bible agrees with the Big Bang Theory or uh, I don't, we don't teach male superiority or, or, or this or that. Anything to get favor from this world so that they can get views, likes, clicks, money. See, our faith is not standing in the wisdom of men or the God of this world to hell with the God of this world. All of these lies are getting ready to be destroyed fully and they're already being destroyed by this word. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. All right. Let's read that in the NLT. Yet when I am uh, uh, among mature believers, I do speak with words of wisdom, but not the uh, kind of wisdom that belongs to this world to the, or to the rulers of this world who are soon forgotten. All of the rulers and wise men of this world are, are soon to be forgotten. OK, they're through. But we speak, but we speak the wisdom of the most high in a mystery, which is tied to foolishness, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory. So he handpicked who would have this word. And as they're sent out into the world, all right, it makes them to look foolish. Noah, as he was uh, uh, sealed with the understanding of the flood to come, he was mocked and called foolish. See, 
But that, that was a testimony and a witness against those wicked, all right, uh, 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 sons of God who didn't want to listen to him. And what came of that? The flood. All right. Which none of this princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. And that's our people. They, they, they were the princes of the world at that time. The high and mighty scribes and Pharisees who didn't want to repent and accept Yahweh Shai. Okay, they, they didn't want to deal with the mysteries. All right, that were, it was right before their eyes. Okay, Ephesians 6 and 9. Okay, so when we bring out the deep things of the scriptures, all right, ancient customs, and you see, all right, Christians and other Israelites using the God of this world's viewpoint to mock it and make us to look crazy, marvel not, man. It's only so long those laughs and those clicks and those likes are going to last. There's another side to their story, but you, all right, standing stiffly for what is true, all right, no matter how foolish it made you to look in this world, all right, there's a reward for that. Ephesians 6 and 9. Let's see here. Is that what I'm looking for? Ephesians 6 and 9. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's go to, um, let's see here, Colossians 1 and 26. Is that what I'm looking for? Oh, for was it Philippians? Let's see here. No, that ain't it. Let's see here. Nope, no, that ain't what I'm looking for. Let's get, um... Colossians 1 and 26. Let's see, Colossians 1 and 26. Twenty-five. Wherefore I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the Most High, which is given unto me for you to fulfill the word of God. Okay? Even the mystery which have been hid from ages, from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom the Most High will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is in Hamashiach in you, are the hope of glory. All right. And ultimately, uh, uh, the Gentiles are the Israelites who were what? Scattered among the heathen. All right. But are now turning back to the Heavenly Father through the preaching of the word, man. You see, so let's get the book of, uh, let's see here. Let's go back to first Corinthians one and 18. All right. First Corinthians one and 18. For we preach for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. See to them who perish is foolish to do what we do and preach what we preach see <laughs> but unto you which are saved it is the power of the most high it, it it strengthens your faith to hear these things wow all right i can be listening to a, a a man who once walked with the lord i could i could be listening to one of the ancient prophets like like you know i, I could have been back there listening to him following all right that that is the power of the Most High God, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, to those who are saved, but to those who are what? Without, it's foolishness. All right, but it's all tied to the mysteries, man. Let's see if we can get a quick precept here. Okay. Yep, Acts 13 and 41. Behold, ye despisers and wonder and perish, for I work a work in your days. All right which ye shall in no wise believe, though it be made a man declared unto you. All right, the awakening of the Gentiles, but that can also be tied to all of these prophecies being fulfilled. Okay, 2 Corinthians 2 and 15, for we are unto the most high a sweet savor of a Mashiach and them that are saved and in them that perish. So we have to preach both sides of the spectrum. <laughs> the fulfillment of this sacrifice all right. Ultimately, we preach to those who are saved and we preach condemnation into them who are ultimately going to be uh, destroyed. See. 
to one we are the savor of death unto death and to another the savor of life unto life and who is sufficient for these things not everybody is sufficient to bring out the full truth because they know the full truth makes you look crazy for we are not as many which corrupt the word of god but as of sincerity but as of the most high in the sight of Hamashiach, we uh in the sight of the most high we speak in Hamashiach. he speaks through us this is Psalm 78 and 2. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. Okay. Matthew 11 and 25. And at that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them unto babes. And when you look up this word babes. Okay. This word babes is nepios, infant, little child, metaphorically childish, untaught, unskilled. So here it is. We haven't been to seminary schools. We haven't been taught up classically according to how you should be uh, taught the Bible in this world. But here it is. We're out proclaiming all of these mysteries, which ultimately will be used to make us to look foolish, man. Okay, that was the, 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 the point of the topic. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You know, I had a bunch of other scriptures, but the point was made. And with these things, you have to be immovable. Let's get uh, let's finish it off in First Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain all right in the lord so the, the heavenly father sees all right those who are, are, are not holding back he sees those who are bringing out the bible for what it is and not ultimately holding back to you know the gain fame and favor of this world to hell with this world man okay be not moved away. Colossians 1 and 23. If you continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which you have heard and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven. All right. Wherefore, I, Paul, am made a minister and a creature is ultimately the Israelites. When you get uh, second Edras 8 and 45. All right. The, 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 the creature is speaking of the chosen. All right. The Israelites. All right. But we are preaching. All right, to all of the nations as well. All right, but the message of salvation is to the Israelites, man. Okay, so be immovable. All right, stay rooted. All right, and don't allow the incredulity that we're witnessing. Okay, from these 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 unbelievers and losers. Okay, to uh, make you to doubt. Okay, as it says in Second Edges, the fifteenth chapter. We'll end it off there. Okay. Second Edges 15 and uh, 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Not, uh, uh, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Okay. Incredulity. The state of unwilling or unable to believe something. See? Faithlessness. And we're going to see more and more of that. All right. For all the faithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All right? Through what? The sword, famine, and everything else. So hopefully I edified. All right? The, the point of the, the lesson was that, all right, the foolish things are tied to the mysteries. What makes us foolish all right, is the fact that we're bringing out the mysteries of the Bible, which has nothing to do with the God of this world nor the wisdom of this world. Hopefully I edified on to the next. Shalom.